Is that what happens when you throw a banana peel? Uh -huh. Is that just one of many things we're going to oh, learn today about bananas? Of numerous things, uh -huh. numerous things. Yeah. You know, do you see that you guy back I've there going like that? Plumped you know, up for the holiday. Oh. <laughs> that's how big I am now. Anyway. That Jackie Mason got in a lot of trouble doing that. What? <laughs> Give it time oh, to you. <laughs> <laughs> he got thrown off the right. Ed Sullivan show uh -huh. for signifying badly. Well, I'm Larry Bly. And I'm Laban Johnson. And we're and welcome cooking to Cook and Cheese. Right. <laughs> and today we're going to do things on bananas. Well, not yeah. on bananas. We're <laughs> no. going to do things with bananas. Right. Well, no, we're not going to do things with bananas. Or we're for going them. For them. <laughs> right. That's right. But first, these important letters from <laughs> around the world. Well, here's one that I just really love. Dear Mr. and Mr., <laughs> <laughs> we love you to send all your recipes to us because we want to try them out. It all looks great, and we also like the way you and your friend acts, A-C-T-S, on TV. Mm. But I am glad you two don't fight in the kitchen like we do. We watch the show. Every time it comes on, we would never miss it. Yours truly, Penny and Mary, thanks. <laughs> well, Penny and Mary, thanks. We appreciate your love. Where are they from? Does it say? Doesn't say. It doesn't say. It does. Dear sir, enjoy your interesting program. Love all you cook. I wish to know if you have recipes on a book. <laughs> if you do, please inform Price. Send me 611. The chicken livers look good. <laughs> Hoping you keep showing your program for a long, long time. I've been showing it for years. <laughs> the best to you, and uh, I can't even read the, the uh, the name, and it's just as good. Here in El Paso, Texas, how about that? We receive your program very clear and nice color. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We always did come in good down there. Lisa Walker wrote this. She said, to you guys from Lisa M. Walker, I liked your show last week. Would you bake sugar cookies next week? Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, that really is. You can keep that and send it to friends at uh, Valentino's yeah. Day. Uh-huh, which is. <laughs> Dear sirs, just drop you a note. <laughs> Our cable just changed in this area first time for this show in this area. I enjoy it very much. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to give the name. I'm not going to get in trouble. Where's that from? It doesn't say. Cute little bunny on there. Thank you. Like your letter much. <laughs> Keep in touch. Gentlemen, I watched your show for first time today and I thoroughly. <laughs> That's, all, That's it all, it all it says. I watched your show today and I thoroughly. Would you please wonder what she <laughs> wonder what she thoroughly? I don't know. Just dis think it's disgusting. <laughs> just fill it in for yourself. <laughs> Would you please send me the recipes for the wonderful candy you made? Thank you very much. That's from Louisiana. Uh huh. From uh, Christy in Louisiana. <laughs> Who's thoroughly? Thank you. We just want to tell you that you're thoroughly. And uh, oh, look here, a good friend who who you will see a lot of the things here in the kitchen that she, this gal has given us down right. through the years, our very lovely friend, the lovely Dorothy Ridgeway. Dorothy, Dorothy Maria. Dorothy Maria. Dorothea Maria. There's a little dress up there. And she, is a, she is just wonderful. She's one of our good pals. And we have a whole bunch of gifts from her in the kitchen today that you'll be seeing. She sent a recipe for a special uh -huh. rum cake. <laughs> <laughs> Should I read it? Yes, go ahead. Oh, before you start, check rum to make sure of the quality. <laughs> Select large mixing bowl, measuring cups, etc., and check rum again. Well, this is our kind of recipe. Yes. With electric mixer, beat one cup of butter in a fluffy bowl. <laughs> Add one teaspoon sugar, beat, check rum again. Add three large eggs, two cups fried, droot, beat until very high. If fruit sticks in beaters, pry out with screwdriver. Taste rum again. Add three <laughs> cups baking powder, one pint rum, one teaspoon toda and one cup pepper. <laughs> Sift in a half pint of lemon juice and fold in chopped buttermilk and strained nuts. Add one babble spoon of scrowned booger <laughs> and whatever color you have. Check rum again. Turn pan to 350 degrees. <laughs> Grease oven and pour whole mess in. Sample rum while waiting. Happy eating. <laughs> <laughs> That's now, a good one. I like why, it. Why, you know, you were asking me. I think I'll keep that one for myself. <laughs> right before we started today, you were asking me why we were doing the plantains again. Yeah. And yeah, the reason yeah. is this lady from Tampa, Florida, wrote us this letter. Did she I, straighten us out? And I won't read the whole thing. But she said the plantains were green. Oh. 
they should be ripe, light oh. brown skin. So that's or peeling why. like a banana and to be real sweet. Cut mm. into diagonals and deep fat fry. Green ones are for chips or partially cooked. Mm. Mashed and finished cooking. Sprinkle with salt. They are never, Maureen, you get this, they are never boiled to remove bitterness. They are yeah. never bitter, even when green. <laughs> they are a, of a drier yeah. texture and not as sweet as when cooked green. She you thinks can, she knows everything. Uh, you can boil with skin on, removing tips as a vegetable when they are golden gr yellow. Well, I always but boil with my skin on. <laughs> but they uh, are sweet then too. If you, are, listen to this though. If you are not familiar with an ethnic dish, please don't cook it. Yeah. Man. <laughs> well, thank you, Ms. Tampa. <laughs> However, I want you to know that we have become familiar with this. So and we're so, going to do it today. And so this is, <laughs> is that a Banana Mama show? And the reason I thought we'd call it that was I heard a little girl ask her mother that. In, in the, the supermarket. Well, so well, let's I'll go swear. over and we're going to do some. Well, let me ask you this while we're walking. Was it? <laughs> well, was it no, banana? It was a plantain. Oh. And before we start, I have arranged here. <laughs> can't get my mic cord straight Some up. notes. So class, school is in session. The banana comes from. Oh. And the, <laughs> its earliest known cultivation was in India by the people of the Indus River Valley around 3500 BC. Uh-huh. The banana was brought to the New World in the 16th century, around 1560. Oh, that's fascinating. And it was one of the earliest <laughs> delicate fruits to be shipped in quantity <laughs> in the late 19th century. So that is everything you need to know. It is not indigenous to the new world. So there. <laughs> so Would there. you go ahead and, and do that lovely I'm doing a quick and fancy banana pudding. And being that we've used up three quarters of the show on letters <laughs> and the history lesson on the bananas, I think it's a good thing it's going to be a quick one. So here we go. This is one of the things that Dorothy got us, by the way, for Christmas. <laughs> oh, oh, a snake. My goodness, you look like Jake the Snake Roberts from, <laughs> <laughs> from professional wrestling. The other thing she got us, I should show you, I should use them all up at one time. One lump or two. These are some very special false teeth tongs uh, that she got us, and I think they're just real neat. And they're all sure to come in handy around the old cooking cheap kitchen. <laughs> That's enough. Anyway, okay. What we do is we start with three small packages of instant vanilla pudding. <laughs> <laughs> that seems easy enough to handle, doesn't it? Well, one Boy, I think. am looking porky today. Look at that. <laughs> I'm ashamed. Well, you were really laying on the food and, oh. and, and beverage. I don't know when you'll see this program sometime. <laughs> what in the world is that? Oh, no, he has done shorted out the stove with a fork. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> the fork went up under the... I'll bet the thing doesn't work anymore. Well, it's no, it's still on. Oh, is it? Yeah, look it's at it. It's a wonder we didn't blow a fuse. Look, it's got a burnt <laughs> place on it. It has burnt. <laughs> you it has practically burned this fork in two. In two. Now, that's the first rule of the <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> so we start out with three of these little packets of instant vanilla. It says small instant vanilla pudding boxes, and that's what they are. They're real tiny. You can get bigger ones than that. But you don't, I'm going to get this snake off here so I will do the same thing. <laughs> That's a, I've been a lot of things in the kitchen, but I've never been electrocuted. <laughs> we do work with some real oh. bizarre equipment around here <laughs> sometimes. Oh, I can't, I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep laughing, but we've got a, we have an old problem here. What's this that? This is a special request problem. Excuse me, i got to go to a bigger bowl. That's the, what boys in the back always say. What? What the brown it? sugar has coagulated oh, again. Oh no, not that. You know, if we had a, if we had a microwave, all you'd have to do is put that stuff in there and zap it. Okay, well, now what we me, need? I'm going to work on it. We need five cups of milk. Five cups of milk. While he's back there banging, that'd be two, four. Looks right, runny to me. Five. I'll swear that's what it calls for. Five cups of milk. Well, now don't get nervous, Larry. There's other things to go in here. I swear, I don't believe nothing's going to bring that alive. That's what it says. Five cups of milk. 
Now we got a. <laughs> this will go down in history as one of our noisier <laughs> programs, I'm sure. Five cups of milk. <laughs> Could you what? get me a whisk? Never mind. Well, I'll this find it. brown sugar is so hard, I'm grating it. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty bad when you have to do that. Now, that's an idea, boys and girls. When your brown sugar coagulates up on you, <laughs> that's one way to get around. i got to get some of the... I'm going to whisk this a little bit because... It had some lumps in it, and I don't feel like taking my lumps today. How much? What does that mean? <laughs> How dare you? What, what's it? They're signifying to <laughs> me in a not-so-normal manner. Okay. I don't know. You know this four crew is, is starting to invent <laughs> things, I believe. I don't believe there is any such signals as that. Is this refrigerator on? What happened to the light? Someone has done come and taken the light out of the refrigerator, using it up here probably no. on the set. <laughs> they didn't pay the electric bill again. That's what it is. Now, it says combine instant pudding mixes and milk. We did that. Add sour cream and one cup of topping. Okay. We got some sour cream here, and we're going to take a cup of it, and we're going to add that in there to thicken it up a little bit. Uh, there we go. Going to add that in. There. There it goes. Uh, and uh, what? And what? What? And uh, one cup of topping. This is a whip topping. I don't believe this. <laughs> Somebody has already been in a my topic. And what do you want to bet they did it with these Neller wafers? Which have also been opened, I might add. <laughs> I'll swear we can't trust these gremlins around here anymore. All right, a cup of that. Just to approximate, it's half air anyway, so if you want to use a little extra, go ahead. Throw it in there. That goes in too. I'm going to mix that in. Oh, this stuff is setting up real pretty. Setting up real pretty. Doesn't that look pretty? Lovely. Just lovely. I believe this is going to work out all right. I'm going to whip on that a little bit. Excuse me. I can't help it. Just a little bit. Let's make sure it gets in there real well. Woo! I know we'll be holding them back on this one. <laughs> now you're going to hold off on some of the whipping topping there, whip topping, because uh, you need to put some on top when you get finished. Now, all we got to do is we're going to layer sliced bananas and vanilla wafers with the, uh, the pudding mixture. There's really not anything too exotic about this if you get right down to it. Now, you know where I come from. They go one step further on this thing. They, they make a meringue. Mm -hmm. and they top it with a fine meringue and you stick it in the oven for a brief period of time until the meringue gets nice and brown. <laughs> Somebody has stamped my bananas with little bunny rabbits. <laughs> I swear this gang is something. A little wacky down here today. Have you noticed them? Uh-huh. Yeah, a little wacky. Well, we're going to take some of these and we're going to cut them that way and we're going to make a layer of those. I'm going to make my first layer on the right there on the bottom, and then we'll put some of that in, and then we'll put some little wafers in, and oh, we're just gonna have great fun mm. on the bayou. That's about enough of that. Take a little of that, and we're gonna put that in, link, like so. I'm mm -hmm. gonna take some vanilla wafers. This is a real difficult recipe to figure out. I mean, this is one of the toughest ones I've ever done. You know, it's nice if you let this set up long enough for the vanilla wafers to get soft, lest someone crunch down on them and break their teeth. Of course, around here, they don't lay around long enough to get soft. All right. There's that, another little layer of this. And so it goes, bananas and wafers, bananas and wafers. Now back to Mr. Jots. Whoa, well, th mm. thank you so much. I was not expecting you quite this soon. I'm trying to peel this plantain and it's, it's kind of slippery. 
I thought that thing was supposed to be ripe. Well, it is. That's why it's so slippery. Oh. No, a plantain is a member of the banana family. You remember the banana family. Uh-huh. They had a show on TV. Anyway, we're going to fry these babies. They are drier and not so sweet as a banana. I have here a little uh, sort of a dough or a batter that I've made up using uh, some milk, an egg, a tablespoon of brown sugar, about six tablespoons of flour, and a pinch of salt. All of that is gone together to make a little batter. Let me show you what a plantain looks like. Here's one. And they are not ripe until they're black and ugly. Uh, this, these, uh, I bought a couple that were real green yesterday, but they've, uh, they have really uh, gone over since then. And they are hard to peel. They're not just like a banana when you peel them. Uh, you can cut them real thin and make plantain chips out of them by deep frying them. And oh boy. They are real good that if you've great. ever had them. Or you can just peel them like a banana, like I've got right here. And you want to slice them into like half inch diagonal slices so that you've got a, a pretty good thickness on them. Do, 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 do. These uh, plantains grow just like the banana does, upside down on the tree. They grow like this. They defy gravity. They grow like that on the tree in stalks that are divided into hands. Beg your pardon? That's what you call a bunch of bananas, is a hand. Oh! Now, I wish you wouldn't do that. We don't know where this hand has been. <laughs> no, it was, uh, we it, had the staff. Uh, it was, it was it. audition for the movie Blue Velvet and didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> the staff was, uh, <laughs> the staff was doing its cuticles when we got on the air earlier today. <laughs> I just want to finish this up while he's doing that. Now, all you do is you just top this off with a little bit of this goop on top, and it's just real pretty, and then you put it in the refrigerator and let it get nice and cold. Isn't that pretty? except you would make it in a much larger bowl than I have, boys and girls, because I only have two bowls in the entire kitchen and I was using one of them to mix things in. So there we go. And while Mr. Johnson's playing with the plantain, I'm gonna do a fancy little version of this for you using a much smaller uh, thing. What's my call it? It's real pretty. <laughs> for some reason, my, my vocabulary has failed me. I'm gonna go have uh, something to drink, but sorry. Oh, Lord, now you... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Do what? I say I'd be careful with that glass oh, because... Oh, sorry. Uh, that's one the crew gave us for oh, the... Oh, yes, uh, we've been given some fine glasses. Fine glasses. A little gift here. <laughs> By the crew. Uh, oh! So you know what that's all about. <laughs> well, these plantains look a little bit like carrots here, and this batter I think maybe is still a little bit thick, but I'm sure it's gonna be tasty. We'll have to make plantain chips next week. Oh, yes, Laban. <laughs> that sounds real good. Hmm? There we go. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I'm making up little miniature versions of this thing for you and I today. Oh, good. I know that this big version is going to be eaten alive by the staff as soon as we get off there. They'll just, and that's you know, about good for one staff member there. So I'm making up little tiny versions of these. We don't want to ruin our dinner. This is the night you're taking me to dinner, isn't it? Oh, yeah, Laban. <laughs> sure. I thought you had that bad throat. I didn't think you could taste or anything. Well, thank you for noticing how miserable I am, but uh, I think I could probably force myself. Uh-huh. Yeah. Johnson has never been so sick that he hasn't been able to eat. Never. Ever. Is that all you do, uh, Laban? Is yeah, that as exciting just... as it gets? Uh, uh -huh. A little quiet here on the old floor today. Why don't we show these recipes? That's something exciting. Oh, there we go, quick and fancy banana pudding, which I'm still playing with even as we speak here. It says, 
three small packages of instant vanilla pudding. You mix all that up with five cups of milk and a cup of sour cream. Bananas, vanilla wafers, large container whipped topping, and you just kind of layer that stuff, and that's it. Now the batter for the fried plantain, two to three tablespoons of milk and egg, a tablespoon of brown sugar, five or six tablespoons of all-purpose flour, a pinch of salt, some corn oil to cook them in. You peel your plantain and cut diagonally into half-inch slices. Fry in the oil, and mm -mm, they're going to look real good here, Bly. Now look what I'm doing, boys and girls. I'm doing a little personalized version of this. These look a little bit like those oysters you served at your house that time. See what you do with this is you crumble the stuff. See your little Nello wafers there? That, that's darling. That's just darling. That's darling. Now watch it carefully. The hand is quicker than the eye. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Well, yeah, they don't call me hands Bly for nothing, you know. Oh, I thought it was okay. hands. <laughs> I thought it was because of your German background. Okay, no, there you go. Top that all. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? That's lovely. That's lovely. That's lovely. There we go. Now, I made those up for you and I, and the staff can have all the rest of this. We have about 7,000 pounds of it left. <coughs> if it does had make a, right smart. It really it? does. I believe, it doesn't say how many of the serves, but I believe, I believe it serves about 52 people. <laughs> oh, now those are gorgeous. You know, when I did them last year, they just stayed big and lumpy and green. Aren't they beautiful? They really are. Well, let's see. I believe, thank you so much, I think they're very attractive too. Well, they really are. It's as pretty as a picture. Where is Ms. Witch? I don't know. I guess I she's... I think she's coming in here. She's got something for us she's today. She's probably here somewhere. Although, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> the envelope, please. <laughs> Oh, how appropriate with my voice today. <laughs> she's come in she, for a second landing. She thinks she's Mary Lou Rett. Now, you know what that means. We'll have to give her an extra $75 for that second appearance. Darlings. This says darlings. Darlings. When Thurman comes over on Saturday night, we always go out for an expensive meal. Then on Sunday morning, we arise to my bacon and eggs. I would love to impress him with something fine for breakfast mm -hmm. besides me. Yeah. Help. Love, Tallulah Craighead. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? What, well, what, are we going to do wants, something special? Yeah, we're going to do a, a special breakfast next week. Oh. Something for the night after, or the day after the night before. I want to thank my business partner for giving oh, me cook that. On that board. cute? Cook on board, uh, says. Well, I'm going to take these fancy little desserts to the kitchen. This um, looks real good. Oh. Dessert or dessert? Oh. <laughs> Which and would you help like? yourself to a fried plantain. plantain. Mm. Do, now, is this is this something that's eaten a lot down south? Uh, in the Caribbean. In the Caribbean. And, and in a lot of uh, Indonesian and Far Eastern cuisines, plantains are real popular. With this recipe? Uh, this among others, yeah. Well, this is wonderful. What is well, that I kind of like that. Is this okay? Mm hmm Yeah. It's, uh... They're mm. not as sweet as a banana. You're right. Nice, delicate flavor mm -hmm. to it. Very nice. That's all right. Well, that just goes to prove that you should try, try again if you don't right. succeed the first time. And when you see those weird vegetables in the grocery store, Go on and get them and try them. Find out what they are and see if you can do it. You know, that sour cream, I think, kind of adds a little mm -hmm. extra to the flavor of this pudding mix. Sort of jazzes it up a little bit. Mmm, it's real good. Mm. I think this is a meal I can live with. <laughs> of course, we're not oh, too heavy too. on the... Well, I guess you won't be eating any more desserts now for the next <laughs> no, three or four it. months, right? I'm swearing off all desserts mm -hmm. before you have to but two TV screens together get my face in your living room. Not to mention the rest of you. Not to mention the well, rest of me. It's time for us to go. We'll be seeing you again next time on this station. Right if you get a job. Bye. Bye.